sign. It's you running through my veins. Your love runs through my veins. Good morning, family. Well, officially, good morning. Um, as you guys saw from the intro, I had to drop Thomas off at the airport because he's doing some sort of training in Kentucky. So he's going to be there for two and a half weeks. So it's just me and the boys now. Um, came home, managed to go back to sleep for like an hour-ish. Woke the boys up. They are now at school. So now, <laughs> it is just me. At home, I'm up by my lonesome, and it is, of course, my day off. So, um, lots of things to do today. I need to go to the car wash because my poor baby is filthy, like filthy, filthy. And I'm glad that the last time I went to the car wash, like, it wasn't even that long ago. I feel like two weeks, maybe even last week that I went to the car wash. But when I was there, I bought like the monthly... Um, plan or whatever so I can go as many times as I want every month I mean I think it costs like $25 or something like that so I paid for that so since I paid for it I'm going to abuse it and use the max out of it so I'm going to get my car washed um because y'all it's, it's filthy and I'm actually going to vacuum it this time because last time I went to the car wash I only had time to get the exterior wash, but I didn't get a chance to actually vacuum it. So I'm going to vacuum the car, and then what else do I need to do today? Um, I really want to go to the gym. Like, I've been doing, like, the little workouts in the house and stuff, but there is nothing like going to the gym and actually working out there. So I haven't been to the gym um, on base yet. I used to go to the one on Fort Stewart, all the time, like especially for the Zumba class, because it was fun. Um, but I want to go to the gym, so gym, car wash, and I don't know. I also need to go and make some more soaps because Mother's Day is rapidly approaching, and I need to get my shop prepared for that. So that's the third thing I need to do, and then. I don't know, by that time, it may be time for me to, like, get ready to pick up the boys because, exciting news, since Thomas is away in Kentucky, um, my mom is actually coming down. So, her flight gets in today, I believe, at 8.30. So, I can pick the boys up from daycare by 6. Well, they have to be out by 6. So, if I pick them up at 6, bring them home feed them some dinner, and then we basically just get right back in the car to go drive to the airport, which really isn't that far away. It's like 25, 30 minutes away to pick up my mom. So yay. I'm so excited. Like she hasn't been to our house in Colorado. Yeah, she used to come to the one in Georgia all the time, but since this one is so far, you know, basically on the other side of the country, she hasn't come, but this was like the perfect opportunity for her to come to help with the boys. Like even though my work, my job like changed my schedule to where I don't work the night shift anymore and now I work day shift until he comes back. Still, there's nothing like having your mom. It's like moms are the shit. I just got to say not being biased or anything, but my mom is, is the shit. So, um, yeah, that's the plans for today. So I'm going to go upstairs and get dressed because I'm still in my pajamas, just sweatpants and a t-shirt, nothing special. Um, and yeah, let's start the day. Okay, what's up guys? So it is several hours later, like basically the whole morning later. Um, but I showered, got dressed, you know, made my bed, had breakfast, all that good stuff. So now we are off to the car wash and it is now like 2 o'clock. I'm not even joking with y'all. It is 2 o'clock. Last time I spoke to y'all, it had just turned 8. So I literally spent the whole morning still in the house. One, 
was very good reasons. One was because I, I never open our front door. Like, we never do because no one ever goes in or out of the front door. We always use the back door because that's where the cars are. So, there's just never, like, it's where the mailboxes are. There's never any need for us to go out of our front door. Unless, of course, we're expecting a package, which we weren't. So, for whatever reason... I went and checked um, outside of the front door because the boys had left it like open. And I was like, why the hell are they looking out the front door? But there was a notice from the leasing company, whoever like owns, has the contract for these apartments, where they were like, oh, we're going to um, be stopping by your house today to do a air quality check or whatever. At this time, which was from... 8 to 12 30 like they gave like cable man numbers so that was the first thing I stayed home because I was waiting for them because they weren't it was like an outside contractor so it wasn't like it was the landlord type maintenance people where they can just come in if you give them permission because they have their own key but this was an outside contractor so the only way they were coming in was if I stayed home and waited for them to let them in so boom that's how that happened. Waited for him. He came at like 9. And basically just left him downstairs to his own devices. Because he had to like go down in the basement to like look at stuff. And check filters and whatnot. I don't know. The air seems fine to me. But he did that. He didn't leave until like 10. 10.30ish. So after he left, I got myself in the shower. Got dressed. But then my sister called me because I told y'all my mom is coming down today because my sister was putting my mom, like, driving her to the airport and making sure she got on the plane and all that stuff. So they were just talking to them on the phone just to confirm, like, make sure we I sent all the right documentation because I booked the flight down here. And so I had emailed my sister the uh, confirmation. So she printed it out, gave it to my mom, and they were just making sure they had all the right stuff. But my mom is on the plane. Well, no, it's only 2 o'clock. Her plane doesn't take off till 2.50. But I had to get all that handled. And then by the time that got done, it's now 2 o'clock. So now we can officially start the day. Ugh, I'm so excited. Talk to me nice, talk to me honestly Look in my eyes, don't let it fall on me Say you a good guy, make me believe it Don't wanna hear it, I wanna see it See how Rewind, when we rewind Feel so nice nice and clean and vacuumed and it honestly got a little chilly while I was vacuuming so probably should have wore a bigger jacket today but hindsight is 2020 right so all right <laughs> done at the car wash and it honestly looks like it's gonna rain today Um, but, oh, I hate these locks so much. But, now I'm trying to decide between whether I want to go back on post to, no, it's 
that stop sign. Um, if I want to go back on post to go to the visitor center because I don't want it to be like any situations when I pick up my mom and we're trying to get back on base of them being like, oh no, she needs a visitor's pass or anything like that. Like I don't have time for that. So, oh, it's a lot happening. What the fuck? Do you not see me? Jesus, please fix it. I just... Yo, I think I may slightly have like a road rage problem. It's just, it's not... I just hate people's stupidity. Like, it was a four-way stop sign and normally like it's everybody has the mutual understanding of you go like in the order so if one person is coming from the right then the next person on the left goes and then like you go around in a circle of sorts but dude just pulled out like everybody was agreeing to the statement and dude just decided that he was gonna go straight no matter the fact that it really wasn't his turn like none of that he was coming out I'm sorry, I got distracted because I was backing into this parking space. And you know, you got to focus for things like this. Um, Alright, they're about to pull out so it doesn't really matter. what I was saying but I pulled into Walmart's parking lot just because one I need to get like a new um, car mount for my phone because this one is having issues and I just don't I don't have time um, so I'm going to go in here look for a new car mount and then I don't know maybe spend a couple minutes to see if they have any sort of thing that's anniversary gift worthy ish We'll see. Um, but yeah, I want to get done that by, it's what, 2.44 now? So I at least want to get back on base to the visitor center by 3 o'clock, 3.30. Not 3 o'clock, but 3.30. Just so I can catch the visitor centers while they're still open because I have no idea what time they close. Just so if there's any way that I can get my mom the visitor's pass now. Because I don't know. The last time I was in there, I think they needed... And I saw people getting visitor's IDs for their family members. They needed, like... um, What do you call it? Like, their driver's license and stuff. And they had to, like, do some business at a kiosk or anything. I just don't want any issues when we drive up to the gate. And they try to tell me no. I don't want them problems. Because I'm going to be hot. Like... I feel like I'm crooked in. and neutral is not going to help me. All right, let me just leave the car alone. It's fine. Everything's fine. But it's going to be late. Like my mom's plane doesn't get in until like 830. I'm just, I don't feel like having those issues. So came out of Walmart. And got back on base, went to the visitor center, asked them what the policy and procedures were. They're talking about, oh, you have to go through gate three. Cool. Gate three is right by Theo's little aftercare center. It's not a problem. You know how to get there. The problem is now that um, 
my mom needs to provide her birth certificate and social security card as well. Well, no, not in addition to. First off, apparently there's this new little star thing that they're putting on everyone's driver's licenses. But I feel like how can you penalize someone for not having the little star on their license? Because by a raise of hands, everyone, how many people renew their driver's license before it is is actually expired? How many people? Just raise your hands. No one? Okay, great. Because apparently, like, I don't even think you're allowed to renew your driver's license before the other one has expired because you're not allowed to have two active driver's license at one time. So with that being said, I know for a fact that my mother's driver's license does not have this new little federally approved star seal on it that now they're now requiring for people to have in order to be able to use to get on base. So because she doesn't have that, she has to provide her social security card and her birth certificate. How many people travel places with both their birth certificate and social security card on them by a show of hands? She's not going out of the country. She's coming from New Jersey to Colorado. All Both are within these great United States of America. Why would she travel with that? So now, of course, her plane, of course, doesn't get in until 8.30. So I already know, like, to even try to get on post, it's not going to happen. So I was just sitting here in the parking lot by our house trying to figure out what to do. I'm going to have to get my mom a hotel room for the night because... There's no way that they're going to allow her to come on post after I pick her up from the airport. Oh my goodness. Like talking about, oh, COVID restrictions. What? COVID requires ID now? Like I'm so confused as to the logic. Why are the stupid people in charge? Somebody please make it make sense. Why are the dumb people always in charge? Like when people do curfews and shit for COVID restrictions... Does COVID not come out until after 8 o'clock? Like, what is the problem? What is happening? What is happening? Why is a curfew a part of a COVID restriction? Large gatherings prohibit that? Cool, that's understandable because being in close contact with people is how the virus spreads. Cool. All of that makes very sense. Washing your hands, checking people's temperatures, all of that makes sense. But you can't go outside after 8 o'clock and you have to have a star on your driver's license. That that does not make sense. That is the opposite of sense. That's foolishness. Like pure and simple, plain foolishness. Borderline mentally challenged. Like that doesn't make sense. I didn't know that COVID was like playing games like that. Where It was just, it had these special circumstances like it only likes the nighttime you can only get it after 8 p.m like it (sighs) i'm not even going to continue to stress myself about it like i've already found a solution just gonna have to get my mom a hotel room for the night so uh, let me try to find her a nice comfortable hotel room because This is some bullshit. Oh, boy. Okay, so I feel a little bit better, like this much better about the situation. Booked a hotel room for my mom for tonight. That way, tomorrow, I can just go pick her up when it's time for her to check out. Then we'll go to the visitor center, and I pray to God like that was going to be my prayer for tonight. That they do not request all of that foolishness that I really don't think. Like my mom usually is pretty well prepared for stuff. But I just really don't think that she would have her social security card and birth certificate on her. Like, I don't know. God willing, she is a jack of all trades. A Jane of all trades, rather. 
She probably does. And that big old purse of hers, she carries everything. Hopefully, Jesus, please let her have that in case they ask for it. But if they don't need that, we're just going to deal with the visitor center tomorrow. And if they do need all that from her, then I'm just going to have to, you know, dip into my savings and pay for this hotel room while she's down here for the duration of her stay. So that's where we are right now. Um, it is 18, it's 647. I'm sorry, I have the time on my computer in military time. I don't know why, why I switched it to military time. So I always have to do the math in my head. You know, you've got to subtract by 12 to get what the real time is. So my computer says 1847, which means that it's 647. Um, and right now I'm watching Day After Tomorrow while I look for Thomas an anniversary gift and I kind of I think I got something that's he would use we'll see hold on I'm gonna show you guys all right so this is it right here it's a tactical pen which I kind of feel like is an army people thing like he has so many little um it's time you got out of there. I don't know what he calls them but like they're those multi-tool right. things that he has like laying all over the house he has them in every color everywhere but I feel like he could use this, like carry it on his person. And that would be more of a help instead of the multi-tool things that he has that he never carries around at all. I don't know. But this is where I'm headed with it so far. But this is just option one. So we would need something to go in addition to this. So I got to figure it out. Just got into the hotel room. <laughs> Mom really went to the little gas station shop at and paid for the overpriced teeny tiny bottle of bleach. And is in here disinfecting the room before we can lay down. <laughs> you said... <laughs> oh my goodness. Does anyone else's mom do this? <laughs> Cleaning the already cleaned room. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> like, mind you, I think she. How many masks do you have on right now, mom? Oh my goodness, I'm tired. <laughs> Alright y'all, so good morning. Alright y'all, so good morning. Um, I didn't really do much vlogging yesterday after we woke up. Um, took the boys to school. Went to the visitor center. Got my mom her little uh, visitor's pass. Got my mom her little visitor's pass. And then took the boys to school. And then we kind of just went thrift store hopping. Like, my mother has never met a thrift store she didn't like. So we went thrift store shopping. Um, and then came home. And then, of course, my mom got to clean in and made the boys clean their rooms. So... This is my outfit of the day. I have work to work today. And I don't know what I'm going to do about this shirt. I feel like I need a safety pin for like right here. Just is like an extra. Like a safety net. Because I feel like this shirt is playing with me. But. I know it's not like. Like you're only going to work. It's not that special. But I'm tired of not being able to wear a lot of my wardrobe because like I have stuff like this and I'm like oh that's too fancy for work but listen I bought these clothes and they're not just about to rot in my closet because the job I have doesn't match them so we're just gonna make it do what it do but this is my OOTD of the day and I might wear take these earrings out 
and wear these. I don't know about the necklace. I don't know. I may wear the whole set. Um, so yeah. Put all that on because Thomas always complains that I don't wear the jewelry that he buys for me and stuff. But, sir, yesterday, y'all, I had on sweatpants and a sweatshirt. That's not sweatshirt and a sweatpants. Yeah, sweatpants and a sweatshirt type jewelry. Like, these sufficed. <laughs> it was basic earrings for a basic outfit. But I guess I'll jazz it up today since I'm doing a little bit more. And then I'll wear my um Michael Kors boots so yeah that come up to my knee so that'd be cute <sighs> good morning guys um I just had to come back to field school after I dropped both the boys off because Theo got out of the car today with a little attitude because he was upset that he didn't get to play on his tablet before he came to school. So he left his book bag in my car. So the school called and was like, oh, can you bring his book bag? Which I had to do because I didn't really want to, but I had to because his bus pass for him to go to aftercare is attached to his book bag. I'm coming, car. So pushy. Always wants me to be responsible and safe and put on my seatbelt. So I was supposed to be washing my hair, but I had to come back up to the school. Oh, goodness. Um, but I haven't really been, like, recording much. Like, I've just... I feel like I just work, 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 work. And then I've been trying to, like, spend time with my mom and stuff, so... Yeah, I haven't had much interest in picking up a camera or anything at all. And, oh my gosh, I can't wait to get these locks fixed. But it's going to be a minute before I do that. So today is like really nice out. So I'm thinking that I want to take her to um, the Garden of the Gods. Hopefully it's like not too much hiking. and It's like all like flat level for her because she's, she's not a hiker. She would look at me like I had lost my mind. So, I'm hoping that it's something that she'll be able to do and, like, see a lot of. <sighs> Are you going to go? You were here first. Are you going to go? Are you thinking about it? Okay. your babies <sighs> oh. and then I've just been getting like stuff done this week like the boys school has this free um, summer school program well we're not gonna call it a summer school it's more like they call it the summer institute whatever you want to say fancy it up it's summer school Uh, but it's free and it's from 8 to 12 and it's basically just like math and um, to help them with their reading and then they get like one special so if that's like music or gym or something like that so that is that starts as soon as no because they have a week off once School ends at the end of May. They have that week off and then they start summer school June 5th. And so 
from there they like it's from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. and then they'll catch the bus back to summer camp which is what they call aftercare in the summertime it's called summer camp then they'll catch the bus to summer camp listen they're gonna be mad they're gonna be real mad but they'll get over it I, I strongly believe that they will get over it all right oh am i too close should i pull up some all right she's got it my neighbor was taking out the trash and i was just hoping that i didn't pull up pull back too far and was in the way and blocking the sidewalk but yeah let me go in here wash my hair make it look like something before me and my mom step out all right y'all so we're making a slight detour on going to garden of the gods because one there's some clouds in the sky that are looking a little suspect so i don't know if it's gonna rain but then in other parts it's really sunny so i don't know but after washing my hair this is all that i could do to it so i'm running into the hair store to see what they have to offer because even if i order a wig off of like amazon real quick it's not gonna get here until tomorrow and i gotta go to back to work tomorrow so we're gonna see what this good old hair store has to offer oh. hey guys good morning this i my bad y'all i apologize because this vlog is just like all over the place <laughs> i've been trying to record this like over the course of several days but yeah so while my mom has been down here we have been doing a lot of thrift store shopping like just going from thrift store to thrift store i'm showing her all the ones because they are like her favorite thing ever um so while we're there like i have picked up some stuff for myself so i'm going to show you guys what i got instead of like doing a whole big haul thing because it's all pretty much set up where i wanted it to be so gonna show you guys all right so the first thing is this little basket down here i got it from this uh goodwill but it's not like a traditional goodwill they have like these big bins and you have to dig through the bins to find the treasures and stuff that you want in them and fight all the people that are in there because it gets crowded <laughs> but got this little bin it's really cute so I put all of our um, blankets and the pillows. I also got these pillows from that same Goodwill. Uh, I think it's called like a Goodwill outlet is what they call it. So I got these chocolate brown pillows. They are so comfy. Not that we really lay on them because they just stay in this basket and look plush and fluffy. <laughs> so that is that. <laughs> And at the Goodwill outlets, everything isn't, like, priced. Oh, um, it's my mom's suitcase. But then I also got this table from the thrift store. And it wasn't from the Goodwill outlet, but across the street, there is a thrift store here called The Ark. Which, um, this table, it was marked $14.99. And then... The color of the day, you know how thrift stores give you 50% off if the tag is a certain color. Well, it was a white tag, and yesterday white was 50% off. So I ended up only paying like $6 and some change. But I had to like put it together because this lampshade did not go to it. Or like the little piece in the center. This piece here. <laughs> that wasn't a part of it. They were like priced separately, but... When I went to go pay for them, I guess the head of the furniture department came up and was like, I don't know why somebody took the lamp apart. So he just had me pay for the actual stand itself and he didn't charge me for the lampshade or the little, this piece, this little round piece right there. Cause they wanted like $4 just for this thing. And then this was $5.99. And that stand itself was fourteen ninety nine, so it was it was worth it. I was willing to pay it, but thankfully he came through and only charged me for the stand itself, and then I got the fifty percent off. 
So I feel like that lamp is just perfect in that corner. So perfect. All right. And then don't worry about this junky corner. Okay. I'm waiting for my desk. I found this chair and I plan on painting it. Um, this I got from the outlet, the Goodwill outlet. I want to paint it white, like with the Annie Sloan chalk paint that you see everyone painting their furniture with. I want to paint it white. It's a recliner, which is the greatest part about it. But I want to use it as my desk chair because it kind of looks like a throne chair. And I think I'm going to turn it into a throne chair. But that's another video for another day of DIYs. But yeah, my chair. Um, And then let's move on to the bathroom. Okay, so I had showed you guys this thing a while ago that I had got um, from the thrift store that I was going to like turn into a s'mores bar, but we never ended up making any s'mores, guys. Like, we just never did. So I thought, okay, this could be a really cute um, like little flower box. So I just got these white flowers from Dollar Tree and like the little foam stuff to poke them into and then you know these are the what do you call them the cottonelle wipes like y'all know for when you do number two and then to clean yourself bam and it's also like a holder for the bathroom air freshener so instead of a s'mores bar it turned into a flower box in the bathroom but I think it's pretty cute um, what else did I get? Okay, and then also from the ARC, this shoe caddy. Because all of Thomas's shoes were on the floor of the closet in here. And it was like stopping it up. So, bam, up off the floor, out of the way. Organization. I love it. Okay, and then moving along to the wares, I got this... Flower pot is what we're going to call it because that's what I'm going to use it for. For um, either the front porch or the back porch. I have not decided yet. But I got this one. And this was also from the Goodwill um, outlet place. And then I got this flower pot. Which I... Whichever one this one doesn't go on, like if this goes on the front porch, then that one will go on the back porch and vice versa. I just haven't decided which one's going to go where. And then I got this really cute gold, um, like leaf shaped dish. I thought it was cute, you know, get some of those decorative little wicker balls that people sit around for decoration that can go in there. I thought that would be cute. Or even if we got like an entryway table to like drop our keys and stuff in. And then I got this cute little book bag from the outlet. It says Versace on it, even though I doubt it. But I thought it was cute. Like all the zippers worked. It wasn't all ripped up and whatnot inside. And a mama could always use a new book bag. So I treated myself to a new book bag. And yeah, that is everything that I've been getting from our little thrift store adventures during my mom's visit. All right, y'all. So I'm going to end this vlog here because honestly, I keep forgetting. Like, I'm going to be all the way 100. I keep forgetting to record stuff. Like, <laughs> when I get home, when I get off, I go pick up the kids go home, try to make some type of dinner. And then by that time, it's it's night nights. Like I'm exhausted, ready to go to sleep. But I'm back at work, yay work, love work. Um, My last break, people are driving me insane. Like I can't wait until this darn sale is over. It's not even that good of a sale. Like it's not, it's really, really not. Like, the best thing they have is this toothpaste that costs two nineteen, and then they have a $2 off coupon, but you can only buy two. Like, 
Yes, you get toothpaste for 19 cents after the coupon, but you know you buy two. So everything else is it's not that big a deal. Like it's it's not that great of a sale. It really isn't, I promise you. Oh I'm so ready to be done. I finally like got my life together, went and turned in the boys' contracts for a summer school and summer camp. The summer school is offered by the school district and it's free. Free is for me. I love free. So summer school is free. And then after summer school, the bus drops them off back at aftercare where they stay until six. So that is only like $62 a week or whatever, but $62 well worth it. So I handed those contracts in. So that's another thing checked off the list. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Then I like took some uh, clothes that were too small for the boys and I donated them to the thrift store on post. That's another thing, another bag out of my trunk. So another thing off the list. Um, yeah, that's about it. I need to go back to that thrift store to see if that couch that I really liked is still there. I'm hoping so, because it was like, it had like one little stain on it, but I can get that out. That's that's not a problem. But I need to go see if it's still there. So I don't know, maybe when I get off work and, no, because it'll be five by the time I get off. So I'll have to pick up the boys too. I'll go pick up the boys and then my mom and then we'll go to that uh Goodwill outlet and see if that couch is still there. I'm gonna let y'all see the mayhem that is that store. Okay, so I'm off work and ooh, it's windy. Headed into the bowling alley because I was going into this like little mini mall, the exchange mini mall, and there's this like barbecue spot that I really wanted to try. So I was pulling in there to go get food before they close. They close at 5.30. And I hear my mom like clearing her throat in the background. Like she walked all the way out here. But Thomas, she was in Thomas's car. He had picked up the boys and they decided to go bowling. So that's what we're about to do. Put my mask up. Germs. What's up, YT family? Okay, so my mom left this morning. It's here. It's very sad. Um, but it is Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I hope you guys can hear me over the fan, like I'm in the bathroom, and when you turn on the light, it automatically turns on the fan. I don't have a choice in the matter, but I need the light, okay? Or maybe I don't. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah. All right, so I turned off the light so that we could stop with that noise. It's not the greatest lighting situation in the world, but it's not horrible. <laughs> um, but like I was saying, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I hope you fully enjoy your day. I know I'm about to. Um, my family is pretty much just kicking it today. But that's not what I want to do today. Like, it's my day. And I'm going to go do something that I want to do. I don't know what that is yet. But I'm going to go do something like husbands in the bed sleep kids downstairs playing pajamas on their tablets cool that's their life that's not about to be mine so i'm about to go do somewhere do something to celebrate mother's day for myself because you know sometimes moms need a break moms need a break too and we just need to be able to go out and do whatever we want to do without having to say no i'm not buying you that don't touch that stop that don't like none of that today so, yeah, let's go. 
And I did put on makeup today. Not that it's really going to matter because I'm going to be wearing a mask. But still, it's my day. Okay? And if I want to wear makeup and have it get all smeared and stuff, that's my business. All right, but let's go. So, you saw that we went to the big thrift store. Oh no, my food. We went to the outlet Goodwill. Um, and then I had actually saw these like uh, couches on Facebook Marketplace that I really wanted to get because we need some new furniture in our house. But... It was actually further away than I expected it to be. So by the time I got there, the guy wasn't there anymore. Um, and then it just, it seemed like it wasn't, it's not the best time to be getting new furniture. Ooh. Plus I needed to like get the measurements. Like I don't even know how wide our front door is to see if this couch would even fit it into it. Cause it was like a, sofa bed kind of couch so it was kind of wide and our door is pretty narrow so um after that pretty much uh stopped it what do you call it starbucks got myself a venti caramel ribbon crunch um and then i kind of just like window shop in some stores just like talked to my mom and my sister on the phone my mom made it home safely so yeah that was my morning and my mother's day and then we were supposed to go out to dinner like Thomas had plans to go to a, a hibachi restaurant well he had plans to order in from a hibachi restaurant well no he had plans to go to a hibachi restaurant but then, while I was out, he texted me that Theo was feeling sick and he threw up. So, then he decided that he was going to order from the hibachi restaurant and we would just eat at home. So, <laughs> he like actually left to go to the hibachi restaurant, pick up the food, and lo and behold, he gets there and they're like, oh, we stopped doing... Uh, takeout and delivery now we're strictly eating so since Theo was sick it wasn't it didn't make sense to go there because he was like sound asleep so yeah I didn't feel like cooking and Thomas went to the liquor store and like got some wine or whatever but you need food to go with that wine so I just ordered from good old Domino's but I ordered what I wanted to eat, order so Everybody else is just going to have to make do. <laughs> um, but yeah, that has been, this is like the longest and most chaotic vlog I feel like I've ever had to compile and try to put together. Like it's going to be interesting when it comes time to edit this vlog because it's just all over the place, like all over the place. So many days in between and <laughs> like it's just all over the place. But if you stuck through it and you are still here, you are a real one and I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. All right, but I'm gonna get in here and eat this good old, honestly, how could they have given me all my food? Pause. Cause I ordered pizza, check, cookie brownie, check. And then I ordered wings, no check. They got my marinara sauce, but now my wings. What is you doing, baby? What is y'all doing? That was the main thing. Like, yeah, they did the pizza. All right, 
here's the cheesy what is it the cheesy breadsticks from Domino's if you've never tried them before like I don't know what you're doing with your life and then I ordered the cookie brownie for dessert check I ordered the pizza again check but they forgot my wings absolutely not I paid for wings you gonna give me my wings all right so I'm about to go back over there so I can go get my wings but please make sure you like comment share subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one bye uh -oh.